Hi, this is a review of the Kenmore 18 inch wide um, portable dishwasher. Uh, it is very similar, at least by the pictures, to the Frigidaire, so I suspect that it's made by Frigidaire. So the first thing I wanted to show you is how to hook your washer up, what you need to hook your washer up to a pull-out faucet. So I'm going to go over here. Oh, dear Bob, I can't see if I'm in frame. There we go. Okay, this, I'll show you the type of faucet we've got first. This is the kind of faucet we've got right here. It connects like this. And most of these faucets will unscrew somewhere along this part of the of the head. Okay, and then that snaps in magnetically. So our problem was the adapter that came with the machine does not fit directly on that faucet head. It almost seemed like it did um, as far as the, for just one second I was able to get it to attach, but then it uh, spurted all over the kitchen. So that was our problem. I went to several hardware stores trying to describe what I needed and actually what I needed is this is a half inch thread. So this is 55 and 55 64th. So what I had to do was buy two adapters. Now if you have a 3 8 inch one you can also get an adapter that will take this half inch down to 3 8 inch. But what I needed to do is this is a garden hose adapter and it takes it from one half to three quarters. I couldn't get anything to go from one half to 55 and 64 fourths. So I had to get, um, this is a, a regular faucet uh, adapter and it's three quarter inches. So that screws in there. And then this on the outside is 55 64 I believe is what that is. So this will in fact screw on there and then it will screw onto my one half inch adapter. Now I've got um, washers each step along the way so I did not have to use any any thread. Like sometimes you have to use Teflon thread maybe to attach these two if you don't have a washer. All right and then it just connects like that. Uh, when the dishwasher runs, uh, the this is uh, one of them is the water line and the other is the discharge line. It discharges into your sink. Uh, you just turn on your hot water and before you hit start. So that's a thing that I often forgot because I was used to having uh, you know your normal um, washer at home, uh, dishwasher. So and excuse the dishes because I wanted to make sure that I recorded this when the dishwasher is full because I wanted you to see what it's like when I uh, use a full wash and see what items might not have gotten as clean as, as I would have liked. So uh, it's got the controls. Well, let's start here. There's a pot, pots and pan. There's a normal wash. There's a light wash, there's a China Gentle, there's an Eco, and there's a quick rinse. This light shows that it's washing. It doesn't show where it is in the wash cycle, but it'll show that it's washing down here, and then when it's done, it'll have just one light, and that'll be clean. Um, here's a button for high temp wash, and I usually use high temp wash because I like it to kill all the germs. And then you can air dry it, uh, you can delay the start either two or four hours, and then there's a start key. Now, the high temp wash is uh, automatically engaged when you choose pots and pans, and it's available for normal, light, and china. It is not available for eco, um, and 
it, say you decided you wanted to air dry, you wanted high temp wash, and you want normal, and that's what you usually do. Uh, next time you start your washer, all you need to do is hit start, and it's going to remember what you last chose. All right? So we shall open the washer next. Um, I apologize for any weird angles, but I'm wanting to let you see everything uh, that you can about this washer. Okay, here we go. Let me take some of that zoom off for now. All right, here's the inside door. Like many dishwashers, there's a spot for pre-wash, a spot for the wash, and then you close this and you can put that's another pre-wash. So um, now I generally just fill all three. I don't know if you have to. I've done it both ways and it seems to do fine either way. I do use liquid. I don't use the, the packets. Um, I tried using the packets and they ended up just falling on my um, heater and just burning up. So I find it best to use liquid or, or powder. Powder should work too. And here's where you put your rinse aid. Now I use Cascade 8-in-1. I do not need a rinse aid and there's something about adding something to my rinse water that just sort of bothers me. <laughs> so it is a two layer wash and as you can see we live in an RV, a fifth wheel and this just fits. Uh, so you'll see that the door just opens. Not a lot of room there but it works. So um, it has a washer that spins there, um, and it's got underneath, it has a, a one at the bottom that also spins. All right. Now, these, I actually stuffed this full, and, and we have taken a couple of items out, so... Um, but I wanted you to see how, how you can really, really fill it up. This uh, tongs, they, they turned out fine. This is the top to my butter dish. Looks good. I'm going to take a li little more of that off. Get, get a better angle here for the dishes. Um, here's a a fancy glass. We use miscellaneous glassware. We're not picky here. Uh, another glass. Um, looks fine. I don't... Well, now this might have been the V8 glass. I don't know. It looks like there's something here, but if V8 isn't rinsed out right away, it tends to stick. Here's butter dish bottom. Here's another glass. Here's a bowl. A ladle that was used for barbecue. I use, I like to reuse things. So here's a large pickle jar I got for storage of like soups and things like that. Doesn't take up as much room in my refrigerator. Works really well. Nice and clean. That held barbecue. We got another glass, and these are these glasses are all used, so they're not pristine to begin with, but it, it's nice and clean. There's a white plate. Another white plate. So that's, that's it for the bottom besides the silverware. Now I will say, uh, sorry for the noise, one of the, the the cons in this dishwasher is the amount of space that doesn't have any kind of uh, support. So, what is this doing? Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but there's just lots of space between these bars. And so there's a lot of things I cannot put on this shelf because they'll just fall through. Um, so that to me is a con. Uh, it does have one of these silverware baskets. I know a lot of people just take that um, 
they take this this top part off but I like this because it does help uh, my dishware my silverware get a lot cleaner and I'm not in this time some of these sat for a while before they were in there so I am gonna have to send some of those through again now I ran this again on pots and pans now here's my top shelf On it, I put my plasticware. And I'm gonna take take it back a little bit so you can see the full shelf. So I do put all my plasticware on top, especially since I use the the hot wash, or it can um, and and with the pots and pans, or it can melt the plasticware. Now these I wasn't sure about because I nested those pretty close. Um, so far though, looks pretty clean. There's a tad of stuff on the outside of one that just came right off. And these have been in here probably a day and a half waiting for me to get this recorded. So I'm gonna have another really big load. Uh, these I just put through there, they're silicone, you know, things that help you take out hot items. So there were two of those. Um, some more plasticware. Another pair of tongs. We like our tongs. Um, the lids. The little plastic round container. A little sauce dish. And olive grabber. I love olives. Uh, the lid to my pickle jar. Um, I put, I don't know if you can see from this angle, but there's a little shelf. I'll show you in a minute how that works as soon as I take off my knives. I, I put um, knives and sometimes uh, silverware whose handles won't fit in the sil, and that's usually like big spoons won't fit in the silverware holder. Um, this knife has just not been the right color from the beginning, so that's, that doesn't count against this last wash. Um, and I know you're generally not supposed to put knives in a dishwasher, but I tell you what, if it doesn't go in a dishwasher, well, it just won't get used in this household, so we'll use it till it just doesn't work anymore. Um, and there's this was like a clearance item, so that's a spatula. And here's a little bowl. So you see, I put, see this shelf here? I put knives and other odd-shaped silverware, things that might fall through, even uh, these cracks on top of that shelf. And then underneath it, I put other small bowls. Now, if I'm going to run a normal wash, I do have to be a little bit more cautious about that, about um, putting stuff underneath too much stuff underneath. Pots and pans usually gets everything pretty darn clean. Um, so, however, I really only have to do pots and pans if I totally stuff the machine like I did this last time. Now, the other thing I want to show you about this machine, if you choose to purchase it, is the filter. Let me see if I can angle the camera so we can see this. Um, so you can see what I'm doing. I think I think that should do it. Okay, so they say about once a month, and I'm going to see if I can put some more light on the situation there. Um, you should clean the filter. Now, hopefully you can hear me. I'm going to go around to the other side and show you how that works. As you can see, the filter, it's a three-parter. It's over here. Um, this uh, just screws in like that. And there's this. And then, then there's this metal filter. So once a month, you need to take this and take a brush or something and clean it out in your sink. 
And there's going to be a little water in here. All dishwashers hold a little bit of water in the bottom. And of course, if you have anything laying in the bottom here, you should clean that up. So just put that in, put this, you know, you just put it back together the way you took it out. Put that big round thing in, put the metal thing in, um, seat this down here and turn it and you've got your filter clean. So I would say after having spent two years without a dishwasher, I love this dishwasher. Now some people uh, don't like, um, they say that it doesn't get their dishes dry enough. Uh, personally, um, that's, you know, not a big issue for me. Um, being able to do my dishwasher in, or dishes in the small space in a dishwasher far outweighs whether my dishes are dry enough when the cycle's done. Um, the pots and pans cycle does take a long, long time, so normally I just run it at night. Um, it's not terribly loud. We have it right next to um, the living room, and I have run it at night while we're watching TV or just sitting and reading books or whatever, um, and it's not obtrusive. Um, it does have, I think that's also another water jet, but that I'm not sure about. Um, and it does nick fairly easily. Uh, let me see if I can show you one of the nicks. Um, we've had it, I don't know, maybe six months. They're small nicks, but I don't think they're very visible. Um, yeah, maybe you can see them now. Now, right along here, and here and here, you can see little nicks um, that'll show the, the white. I'll just later on probably take a Sharpie and fill those in. Again, not a big deal. Um, so, oops, <laughs> spill everything on the floor here. Um, I hope that helps somebody who's looking at an 18 inch dishwasher and trying to decide whether it's right for your situation. Um, leave any questions in the comments below and I will try to answer them the best way possible. Y'all have a wonderful day. This is Elaine Fisher. Bye bye.